You snapped the tape in two and ripped its contents, and when you did, you felt somehow relieved. Of course, you didn't know at that point, but that decision was a mistake. Hey guys, what is up? Braden here, and I am back with another video. Uh, we are going to continue where we left off last time. And yeah, so last thing we were gonna go visit this nerdy guy, uh, see what information he has for us. So let's see here. I just started it. This is where we're at. Uh, actually, to be honest, I started it a couple minutes ago. Didn't realize I was actually not recording. So sorry about that. Uh, so here we are. I guess this is his mom. So you're here to capture Nico, aren't you? That terrible, terrible man. Can I talk to your son? Yes, of course. He's just upstairs. Follow me. Let's go visit his nerd headquarters. What the heck is this? Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting any. Your visit agent. Let's take a look around. See what you got going on here. Daniel had turned the attic into his room, though it resembled more like a room befitting a teenager rather than an adult male. The walls were decorated with rock band posters, pictures of supposed UFO sightings, and there were magazines all over the place. Okay. Uh, 14 times, number 27. Flat Earth. No way. It's cone-shaped. <laughs> what is with the eyebrows on everybody in this game? They're always just flopping. Okay. Uh, I hope my secretary wasn't too much of a bother. <laughs> Calls his mom a secretary. Secretary, you mean your mom? Oh, right. Today was my secretary's day off. This guy here. Whatever, this is not important. If you're here, it's because you need help solving this case. You made the right choice coming to me. I have a lot of information about what's going on. What do you think happened at the station? Well, I haven't seen the bodies, but from the herd, it was quite gory. All the clues point to Nico killing everyone with an axe. But if you ask my opinion, that's all bullcrap. My prime suspect, the United States military. They do have ways of making people do terrible things against their will. No! Okay, I was reading that. You psychotic. Of course you have. You work for government agency, after all. All I'm saying is that you should keep an open mind. What can you tell me about Nicholas? He had lived the entire life in Seattle, so moving to the small town was quite a culture shock for him. He felt like most people in the town were dumb and boring, except for me and Kowalowski, of course. But other than that, he was a normal guy, not a psycho. He wouldn't hurt anyone, especially not Kowalowski. It just doesn't make any sense. They were friends. Did you know Kowalowski? Yeah, he was one of the scientists working at the station. We were good friends. He was friends with most of the town, though. The guy was really nice and well-spoken. He had natural charisma. But I think it was just a mask and that deep down he felt that his only true friends were Nico and me. Man, I'm going to miss him so much. Anything strange? Uh, I wouldn't be able to say. I didn't know them that well. They were not very interesting in my stuff. A lot of scientists lack imagination. They never question what they thought, what they taught in school. Of course, some among them do have an open mind. Nico and Kowalowski, for example. So they were fancy or what? Okay. Yeah, I felt honored having the, them contact me. Though to be honest, I felt that talking to me was part of their own investigation about secret radio emissions from the Air Force Base. They were convinced that the folks at the base were sabotaging their work. How? To understand that, you need to know more about what they were doing at the research station. They were scanning for radio transmissions coming from space. And it seems that the radio signals from airplanes interfere with the radio waves that the scientists needed to record, so just get to the point. All right. Nico and Kowalowski thought that the best the base was emitting garbage on purpose to block them. And when they tried to speak with the commander of the base, the Washington State University ordered them to close the research station down immediately. The station was closed? Well, what? You didn't know? The scientists were pretty peed off. They put a whole lot of pressure on the university. They even wrote about it in the campus newsletter and were allowed to, re and were allowed to reopen just a month ago. Then they all appeared dead, and one of them is missing, so he gets all the blame. Hmm. Rather convenient, don't you think? It's a heck of a conspiracy. Of course it was stupid of me to think you would do anything other than try to dismiss my suspicions. But before you send your government assassins against me, you should know I have given explicit orders that my testimony be published in case I go missing. We're done here. I think you should leave. Yes, sir. Achievement. The Lone Gunman. It's boogie. Like I suspected, this runs deeper than we originally thought. I should meet with Kathy and check what she's learned. Come on, Kathy. Got news for me? Sun was going down when you made it back to the town center. 
There's Kathy. Boy, have I missed that face. About time. I've been looking for you for a while. I think this is a good spot to put our findings together, don't you? Thought we'd get a cup of coffee, but okay. What have you learned? Or what have I learned? Kathy listened to my explanation. As much as I hate to admit that, McConnelly was right in being so interested in the case. It feels there's more to it than I originally thought. I interviewed Kowalowski's widow. She completely convinced that Forrester went and killed her husband and all the scientists. But I have no way of knowing how much of that is just her believing what the sheriff and his deputy told her about the case. She didn't know too much about her husband's job other than the fact that she had mentioned something about their investigation making a big breakthrough soon. If you ask me, I think that Kowalowski married her because she was cute, not because of her conversational skills. It's getting kind of late. Let's head back to the hotel. We can compare our notes while we walk there. Alrighty. The sun was going down and the air felt colder. Soon it would be dark. I hope McConley doesn't call me again tonight. Let's get to the hotel. Dude, I love this music. If you're not love, if you're not loving this soundtrack, I don't know about you. Okay. As soon as you enter the hotel, the clerk approached you. She seemed quite distressed. Excuse me, agents. The sheriff called and said that you should go to his office immediately. Can he wait? He insisted. It's pretty urgent. You see, um, uh, apparently somebody shot the deputy. What? Thanks for letting us know. Tell the sheriff that we're heading there immediately. What the heck is going on? Let's go. I was kind of looking forward to that uh, coffee and cozy hotel room, but okay. Gardner was surrounded by miles of forest. You wondered if Nicholas Forrester was looking at you from somewhere over there. Oh, crap. Oh, it's locked. Agents, oh, thank God you've arrived. This door can't be open from the outside without a special key. Let me unlock it for you. Thank you. Everyone in town was already locked inside their home. Only the sound of the wind could be heard. If you hadn't seen this place in daytime, you would swear it was a ghost town. It looks like it. Oh, crap. The lifeless body of Deputy Crane lied in a chair, covered in blood. No, Farva. I liked him, too. I know I dissed on him, but I really, I really, I really liked him. This is madness. I spoke with him just a few hours ago, and now, now he's gone. You can tell they don't get much stuff like this out where they live. So tell us what happened. Isn't it obvious the lunatic Nicholas Forrester shot Deputy Crane, then ran away? Did you see him? Uh, no, I wasn't here when he killed Crane. I was on my way home when I suddenly heard a gunshot. Of course, I rushed back here immediately, but when I arrived, Forrester had already left. I looked around the area nearby, and there was no trace of him wherever he could have gone. Can we check it out? Sure, as long as you call for reinforcements once you're done. The more time this psycho's on the loose, the more likely it is that he finds more victims. This definitely doesn't look like the same M.O. as the one at the research station. Either the killer was in a hurry, or there's something else entirely going on. I'm going to ask the Bureau to send a forensic unit down so we can find out what happened. Okay, let me examine the room. I'll check it out. and Just don't step on any blood, okay? What kind of sloppy detective you think I am? Come on. The lifeless body of Deputy Crane sat in the chair. He had been shot in the side of the head. Two holes. The bullet went in and out. So that was close range. I guess it wasn't a high caliber round, otherwise we would have a headless corpse right here. There was a trail of blood going down Crane's arm onto the ground, and in the middle of the bloody puddle, a revolver. The police issued a the police a police issued handgun. He dropped it, so I wonder if it was his gun. That's Crane's weapon. I'm sure of it. Okay, I guess he aimed at Nicholas, but the blank shot him before Crane could fire back. Hmm. What else we got? This window is locked. They all are. Is there something wrong? Can these be locked from the outside? I don't see how, but I have a theory. Maybe Forrester entered through a window, shot Deputy Crane, then locked all the windows and left through the front door. It's a possibility, yes. He isn't playing games with us. You notice that there was something unusual on the desk next to the typewriter. Some kind of cheap portable cassette player. Let's see what's inside. It's the tape that was missing, but why did Crane have it? Did you find something relevant? Crane had the tape that was missing. What? what, what why would he have it? Because he hid it. Th that's ridiculous accusation. Forrester must have dropped him when he was here. Just sticking up for your buddy now. You put on the pair of gloves examine the gun. Wait a minute. The weight of this thing isn't right. 
Like I thought, a bullet is missing and the barrel smells like a gun that had been fired recently. What made you hear? Uh, only one. I've noticed if there were more, I'm not that dumb. Why? The shot came from this weapon. But how is that possible? Was he... Oh, he shot himself. That's ridiculous. I knew him like a son. He was the most cheerful person in this whole town. So you could forget about that right now. He wouldn't have killed himself ever. It's better if I place the gun back where it was. Okay. Just spoke with the Bureau of the Specialist Forensic Police Unit is on the way. We'll get here tomorrow morning. And they're bringing a team to apprehend Forrester as well. Did you find anything relevant while I was gone? Your partner found a few extra details, but nothing that changes the overall picture. Forrester broke in somehow, probably through the window. He tried to ambush Crane, who didn't notice his presence because he was listening to loud music. He took Crane's weapon and perhaps as a stick game or as a sick game, made him listen to the recording of the night of the station's murders. After that, he shot him and left in a hurry before I could come back. Dude, <laughs> calm down. You're just making up stuff. That's an interesting theory, Sheriff, but it sounds like you're just uh, looking out for your partner. I take that you support that theory too, Ross. No, I think so, but no one broke in. I know where you're heading here, so let me take it off the table right away. Crane did not shoot himself. He spoke to the guy. Did he sound like the sort of guy that would blow his own head off? Usually those are the people that blow their heads off for the ones that don't sound like it. I've got to admit the sheriff had a point here. Why would he do something like this? Maybe because of this. Is that the missing tape the deputy had it? Crane must have taken it from the station, but why would he hide it from us? Maybe he was involved in the murders. That would explain why he was so adamant about blaming Forrester all the time. Maybe this tape reveals who the real killer was. No, no, that's not what happened at all. Sheriff, if you know anything, I advise you to tell us right now before we press charges against you for obstructing the investigation. All right, all right, yes, it was Crane who took the tape from the research station, but it's not what you think. You see it happen when you visited the research station. Okay. <laughs> can you believe these freaking city snobs think they can come here and tell us how to do our job? And that guy, I'm sure the douchebag thinks he's hot crap, but he was following the chick like a lap dog. What a pathetic wimp. You know what, I thought I liked this guy but now I'm glad to see he's dead. There's nothing that feels the feds enjoy more than bossing around folks like us, kid. It makes me feel important. At least they'll catch Forrester and then we can forget about the whole shoot show. I would count on that, not without this tape at least. Are you freaking insane? Do you know that that could happen to you if they find out you took this? They won't find out while they waste their time looking for clues. I'll listen to it. There's that cheesy smile. If it says nothing about Forrester's whereabouts, I'll tell the feds that we found it and after we check this place a second time. But if he mentions why, where Forrester could be hiding, we'd go first, catch him, we'll do the credit and teach those douchebags a lesson. Well, when you put it like that, I guess there's nothing wrong with checking the tape first. And I've always thought we deserved a bit more respect from the folks in town. Okay. I swear, that's what happened. Sure, but your story sounds a little bit too convenient, and the only person who could confirm it is dead. I'm telling you the truth, we just wanted to check. Okay. Achievement, the missing tape, learn the sheriff's secret. Keep. Secret. Let's keep pressuring this guy. My partner doesn't seem convinced, and neither am I. What did you do to Forrester? Did he run away, and that's why you're not trying to frame him? No, you're making a mistake. I'm innocent, I swear. Listen to the tape, you'll see you've got nothing to do with what happened. He's right, we should check it out. Maybe the only way we know for sure who did it, and why. Dude, I'm excited. Let's see what's on the tape. You place the tape in the listening device. Have you decided what to do with it? I can listen to it if you want to. I'll do it. I'm not going to complain about not having to hear those people got murdered. You sat at the desk in front of Deputy Crane's body, put on the headset, and pressed play on the device. <laughs> and took in that smell of that rotten corpse. Testing, testing. Gardner Station log day 48. We're going to attempt it again to... Okay. Also, no, okay. Would you stop interrupting me, Forrester? keep listening. So as I was saying, we first detected signal six months ago, and while we never got a clear recording, we extrapolated some interesting data about its organ. Okay. From what we've been able to determine, its source is located further. It could even be extra... Okay. What is... Calm down. We can't ignore the strange patterns that this song has either. Okay. So there's some sort of song here. Indeed, we quickly notice the signals, the structure with we theories, that the patterns could be productive of distortion. Okay. Although some of us believe that it may be a code like a language. Unfortunately, the orders to shut down the station made it impossible. This is until tonight, of course. 
You see how quick they're changing this? As I mentioned in the previous log, since the Gardner Station, we all, uh, this has been to constant massive storms of interference. We've been in a, but that wasn't going to, oh, say. <laughs> you guys, just read this on your own. That's me. Okay. Keep listening. This procedure should allow us to clean record. Okay. We expect necessary modification of the procedure. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but we're ready to get the scan. Let's, let's keep going. Excellent. Starting the recording transmission. Now. Well, this is fascinating. I've never heard anything like this. It feels like something's alive. What the heck is this? Doesn't seem like a radio transmission at all. More like a strange melody. Huh? I'm detecting an unusual range. It's here. It followed us. This can't be happening. It's growing inside. What the heck is that? I can see you. What the F? Hey, are you okay? Your face turned white for a second. I saw something. Saw? You mean you heard? I guess that tape must be pretty hardcore. But at least you know the murder was Forrester, right? Yeah, what did you learn? I'm not sure, honestly. Oh, you must be kidding me. Just our dang luck. We finally find the tape and all we got is more questions. Whoa, what was that? That noise came from the court over there. There's someone else here. I'll keep an eye on the sheriff. Go check who's making those noises and be careful. We're about to get our heads blown off. The heck's here? It won't budge. I don't have time for this. It's a strange storage room. There's something in there. Let's just fire the door handle. <laughs> a pansy shot. Whoa, who the frick? Freeze! Shoot, he's gone. <laughs> he was long gone before I even... What the heck was that? Why didn't you sh Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot? Someone ran away. Then go after him, Ross. I'll be right behind you in a minute. Hey, don't cut off. Don't cut off. Cuff me. What if Forrester comes back? He ran towards the forest. I should go after him. I wonder what the heck they're looking for here. Okay, let's chase this dude down. You pursue the figure as he runs through the woods. Your legs start to hurt and you're panting, but you don't stop. Eventually, the figure stops at a lonely cabin. Ooh, this is getting creepy. Uff, uff, now I've got you. Perhaps I can make, make that person come out. Dang it, no response. The cabin stood alone in a small forest clearing. The lights were out and there wasn't any sound coming from inside, but you know there was someone inside. That figure went in there. No signs of Kathy. If I don't want a person to escape, I'll have to go in on my own. I may be alone, but not defenseless. Freeze! The dim lights from an old lamp is the only thing keeping the interior of the cabin from total darkness. Slowly, your eyes get used to the low light, and then you see someone hiding behind the furniture. What the heck? Surrender, don't shoot! Who the heck are you? I'll answer your question, but first promise that you will listen to what I have to say. Okay. You might have guessed by now, but I'm Nicholas Forrester. That's a guy. What? You're under arrest. There's no time for this, don't you get it? We need to destroy that tape. And then you can do whatever you want with me. After all, it was me who discovered the way to get through the radio block and listen to it. It's all my fault. What's on the tape? The source of it all. We made the deputy blow his brains out. What made my friends kill each other? All because of that dang music, that song that they were researching at the Fairchild base. You must have seen the corpses, haven't you figured out who did that to them? It was them. They did it to themselves, and they kept laughing while they killed each other. Laughing as they were hitting and biting and tearing each other's flesh. I was laughing too. Even poor Ellie was laughing when Kowalowski grabbed an axe and cut her head off. It's crazy. And then the entire time that voice kept on whispering to us, telling us all that it was a hilarious joke. How did you survive? I don't know, last I remember that someone hit me on the head, then everything turned black. When I woke up, I was in the forest, naked and half dead, and I barely managed to crawl to this place. But I wish I had died that night, too, because I won't ever be, the f be able to forget that song. Even now, I could feel it scratching at the edge of my mind, waiting for me to give up so it could take over. That's how I knew that the tape had been played, a part of me just felt it. And it's how I could see that... Oh crap. You listened to the tape, didn't you? Has it spoken to you? Have you seen its face? Have you seen its true face? Has it spoken to you? 
when you come back to your senses, Forrester. Oh, crap. He pushed you to the ground, aiming you. Aiming your gun at you. Crap, was I supposed to fire at him real quick? Freeze or I'll shoot. Let me go, I'm the only one that can. Why did you make me do it, you freaking stupid? Ross, you look strange. That's when you lost consciousness. I got saved. Achievement. And you don't remember anything else? Is that right, Mr. Ross? What? what? Is there anything else you want to add? Where am I? Does he really have amnesia or is he trying to get on our nerves? Thinking or not, we have more than enough for the judge to do his work. Let's scram. I can't stand this fricker anymore. Yeah, frick him. After what he did to that poor girl, he deserves a chair. What? I didn't do anything. They found you chewing the entrails of your partner, you freaking nut job. What? Chill out, mate. Let's go. The agents left the room, leaving you alone to meditate on what would happen next. So I killed my partner. I never thought it would end like this. So my partner saved me, and then I killed her. The end. This game has multiple endings and secrets to reveal based on that. Finish the story with any of the endings. So that's the game, folks. That was pretty crazy, actually. That game went from zero to a hundred in like ten minutes. <laughs> I'm kind of in shock right now. So my guy literally gets saved by his partner, and then he feasts on her. It's pretty crazy. Okay, guys, so I'm at the point where I'm at the cabin now. I'm going to see what happens when we shoot Forrester, uh, see how that changes the end of the game. Up to this point, I didn't change anything else. I'm just anxious to see what happens. What ha what happens when I shoot him? Oh, crap. Boom, I got the shot off. That was scary. <laughs> No! You need to stop before I can. Ross, you look strange. That's when you lost consciousness. Okay. And you don't remember anything else, is that right, Mr. Ross? What? what? Is there anything else you want to add? Yes. Is that a bit of doubt I'm hearing? Does he really have any amnesia or is he trying to get on our nerves? Let's scram, okay. Okay, so it's the same ending. Never thought it would end like this. Okay, so it's the same ending whether you shoot him or not. Oh. The end. That's kind of disappointing. Alright guys, so now I'm going to see what happens if I don't listen to the tape. So we're here at the police station, and we're about to listen to the tape. Uh, this time this time I'm actually gonna have the woman <laughs> listen to it and see what happens Kathy sat at the desk for the deputy Crane's body put on the headset and press play okay so far everything seems normal they start working on their research as usual What's happening? Seems that all the scientists were talking. They can hear Kowalowski and Forrester talking. Are they arguing? It doesn't seem so. They're just chatting. Okay, now they're talking about what they're going to do at night. It's about a signal they detected some time ago. What kind of signal? Something kind of strange. They thought maybe it didn't come from Earth, and Forrester thought it may have been a message. From who? They had no idea. They weren't even sure it was just a normal phenomenon. Based on what I'm hearing, they were quite happy because they had just found a way to listen to the mysterious signal despite all the interference. It seems they have been able to collect a clean sample that they could analyze that night. Now they're just spouting a lot of technical details. Okay, they just activated the station's antenna and getting a clean transmission. They're all screaming. Kathy removed the headset, allowing you to hear some of the notes of strange melody that creeped you out. Seriously, Kathy? So Kathy basically just killed us. get the attention of something dark okay so I got an achievement for that one 
I'm not listening to that again. What's up with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Did you see that? All I remember is my ears getting shocked. They're still buzzing. So what did you learn? Y'all just started screaming for some reason. That was it. All that dang tape gave us was a whole bunch of unanswered questions. Come on, let me go. I'll bring you to the killer. Shut up, Sheriff. You'll remain here until we find out who murdered Deputy Crane. Does he really have any... Okay, so... What the heck? Like, literally everything I do leads to the exact same ending. The end. So I'm going to try one more, and this time it's going to be nobody listens to the recording and see what that does. Okay, so now we're at the part where we listen to the tape. We're just going to listen to this tape one more time, but we're not going to listen to it. Nobody's going to listen to it. So I don't think any of us should. It proves my innocence. You can't ignore it. It's the only thing they can tell us. Trust me, don't listen to the tape. I just can't understand why it should solve all of our questions. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. Uh, I'll follow your orders only because you're the highest ranking member of the team. But you can be sure that I'll state on the report that your decision was completely senseless. Hey, you'll be thanking me later. I can't believe this. You accused me and then refused to check the clue that would solve, prove you wrong. So things man should not know. Don't listen to the cursed recordings. So that should change something. What was that? The noise came from the corridor. There's someone else here. Freezer, I'll shoot. Let me go, I'm the only one. <laughs> Sorry, my reaction time was slow. So Forrester was dead. I've never shot anyone before. Is he dead? I think so. That was Forrester, wasn't it? You better stay here. I'll go back to the sheriff's office and get someone to help uh, shift the body. Okay, I'll wait. That won't take long. As your partner left, you felt something strange in one of your pockets. What the? I must have taken it from the sheriff's office without noticing. I wonder what I should do with it. Let's break it. We're destroying it. You snapped the tape in two and ripped its contents. And when you did, you felt somehow relieved. Of course, you didn't know at that point, but that decision was a mistake. A mistake? Okay, well, so as you can tell, these endings don't change too much. Uh, there's nothing crazy that makes you want to just literally get every ending of the game. Uh, so I've made multiple changes here and I haven't seen much difference. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, clearly, though, get the game, play it. It's pretty cool for only $3, you know. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, really cool little story. If you enjoy reading like a cool little story, uh, like a good crime, like fiction, you know, it's really neat. Uh, awesome sound. I mean, awesome music. Come on, listen to that. It's amazing. Uh, so pretty cool characters. Yeah, I totally recommend checking this out. See how many endings you can get. If anyone knows of any awesome endings that I've missed out on, please comment them below. I would love to know, and then I'll check them out myself. But as for that, that is the video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>